Hello, nice to see you, and today I want to show you the Fritzbox 7560. This is both a router and a telephone system, so you can see the deck button at the top for pairing with phones. It's a really nice style. It does have an unusual phone socket on the side. I think that's more for European phones, perhaps, but on the back you'll notice the standard UK Phone 1 port just there, and you've also got four gigabit Ethernet ports, and on the side you've got a USB slot and that's to turn this into a NAS. Comes with a power supply as well as a couple of cables to get you started, a phone cable and a network cable. And it's very easy to set up once you've got it all plugged in. The software on this, the Fritz OS, is absolutely fantastic. As someone who's stuck with a Virgin Super Hub, this made a really nice refreshing change. You can see here it's really quick, very slick. And it guides you through a setup process to get your box up and running. You'll have to select how you're connecting to the internet. So I am connecting via other service provider. I'm going to name it Virgin. And I have to still use my Super Hub to connect. You have to put that into modem mode and then connect this uh, to a cable modem. If you're with someone like EE, BT, someone like that, you'll just connect this straight into the DSL line. It only takes about maybe five minutes just to go through and just follow the instructions really nice and clear. And once you're done, you'll then be dropped into the main Fritz OS to have a good look around. Now this thing's packed with a ton of features and when I first booted this up, this was on 6.69. You can see it's got two sections, internet and telephony. At the time of recording, I didn't have the phone line plugged in because my Virgin telephone line is in a separate room to my Super Hub, so just be aware of that. As if you're with Virgin, they may be in separate locations, but anyone else, they should be at the same point. So you can see you get a lot of good overview information. I'll just skim through. This thing's so packed full of features, it's going to be very difficult to show you everything, but just to give you an idea, you've got online monitors that give you metering information, data used, what's been going on during the week, month, year. You can then update how you connect into the internet. So I've obviously selected via Virgin, but if that was a mistake for you, you could come into this section and change it to a DSL line add any extra information and the important thing down the bottom here is to add in your speed uh, I found I wasn't getting a great speed at first but when I put in the correct speed figures you can see I'm on 150 down and Virgin very kindly are actually giving me slightly more than that this was registering about 160 and I was getting about 10 up which is about right for uh, my connection Virgin have pretty poor up speed but pretty decent down speed you've got a lot of powerful features about who can use this and when so here we have the parental control section so if you're using this at home and you want to either block certain devices or in fact you can restrict them during certain hours so let's say you've got your kids and you want them to do their homework between four and five, you can come down and say, restrict it between four and five. Note on this screen, I actually noticed they haven't actually translated some of the text. It wasn't really an issue though. It's pretty obvious what this does and most of the text around it has been translated. You can change things like the DNS and also make use of a VPN at the router level rather than having to put it on each device. And if you've got a Fritzbox account, you can actually access your Fritzbox while out of your home or your office. You get a special login for that and that means you can access things that might be stored on the USB drive that you can plug into this. Under the telephony section, you've got a full telephone system. So this allows you to pair up various phones, any DEX phone you can pair with this. And you've got a list of all incoming and outgoing calls. You will need caller ID for that. You've got a telephone book, you've got an answer machine, you can set alarms. This can act as a fax server. You've got various options here. So this is ideal. If you've got a small business, whether you've got a, a business at your home or you're running a small business in a small shop, something like that, this will not only act as your router modem, but also as a small telephone system that gives you a lot of powerful features over just having a handset and a single line. If you've got a more advanced setup this can actually be used with SIP providers and that might allow you to do things like multiple phone calls, uh, multiple people on the phone at the same time. Uh, it will take a bit of setting up, it's not something I've got any use of. There's also a wide range of information available to you about your network setup so you can see who's connected, how they're connected. This provides a dual band wireless network and you've got an awful lot of options around this. So you've got various network settings. You can have a guest network. It's very handy if you're running maybe a, a small cafe, something like that. You want a separate network for your guests to access while they're there. If you plug a USB stick in, you can use that 
as a NAS device. For those who like to check out what's going on in the Wi-Fi spectrum around you, it's got various graphs that will show you which channels are being used, if there's any interference, the other wireless networks, their strength, channels in use by those wireless networks. And you can also set the Wi-Fi to a schedule. This is again, very handy if you're in a public environment, you can have it switched off, say when your shop closes. As a DECT base station, so that will be the first station that you link your phones to, and that will then work with pretty much any DECT handset you want. You just have to synchronize them with this. And this has a ton of help features built in. So you've got diagnosis tools. You've got a very easy to use update. So here I was on 6.69. You can see the firmware can be easily updated to 6.83. You can change your region, your language, and there's a ton of wizards included. If all this seems a bit overwhelming, don't worry, lots of wizards included to help you out. Being an internet connected device, this has a lot of apps available for it as well. One of them allows you to use your mobile phone as part of your telephone setup. The other allows you to manage this when you're out and about so you can access files. And again, all comes with very, very easy to follow instructions and setup. Overall then, this is an incredibly feature packed modem router telephone system and if it's the kind of thing you're looking for i don't think you'll go wrong this is a brilliant bit of kit as usual i will put a link to this in the description below i hope you found this short review useful if you haven't already please consider hitting the subscribe button thanks for watching